Welcome back and now going back to how Egyptians are going to be spending Eid al-Adha after the temperature hopefully uh, inshallah is going to uh, lower down and drop uh, uh, to more uh, beautiful breezing uh, whether many Egyptians prefer spending vacations on beaches of course and enjoying sea especially uh, uh, at this time of the year and also parks and Egypt is a good hub uh, for all uh, types of tourists where you can spend, uh, spend your vacation generally in summer and also during Eid al-Adha so uh, very delighted uh, to be uh, t discussing this uh, particular beautiful topic with the, uh, Dr. Ahmed Nouri Dini, is the head of tourist guide syndicate in Giza. Good morning. Good morning. How are Dina. you doing? Aid, uh, Happy Eid to you. <laughs> so, what's up in, uh, in Eid this year? How Egyptians are going to rejoice with other tourists? What are the programs that are put ahead or set ahead uh, for our visitors from neighboring countries? Uh, probably Arabs, they love to spend their time on beaches and beautiful, especially the new Alamein cities. Um, I mean, the places in new Alamein city are prepared throughout the whole year uh, to receive uh, tourists, not only Egyptians. Yes, in these uh, uh, days with this uh, temperature, the majority now are thinking to go to the beach in Eid uh, al Adha and this is. Uh, spend their uh, holidays there. Uh, maybe some will do that after uh, uh, the high school, the exam, after they finish, but uh, the majority that they already have their uh, kids or their sons that they finish the exam are planning now to go to the beach. The majority, like you mentioned, uh, thinking to go to the uh, north uh, uh, coast of uh, 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 Egypt, uh, especially this area of uh, the new Alamein, um, some other in Delta uh, planning to go to Alexandria and the Marsa Matru uh, to enjoy the, uh, the weather there uh, with this high uh, temperature uh, these days. Other in Cairo are uh, planning also to go to the Ain uh, al-Sohma or in a place uh, uh, or in a beach near to spend only one day with the use in hotel and the other are uh, uh, planning also to continue here to enjoy Nile cruising uh, uh, in Cairo for a few hours or to go to Al Kanatr Al Khairiya. Uh, uh, many and many of a uh, thousand of uh, uh, Egyptians are doing that you will see them especially after uh, by the end of the day and the night and the two sides of the mile or this small <coughs> mile uh, cruises uh, to enjoy the weather, uh, especially at night. Uh, in the same time, we'll see people uh, continue to go to uh, uh, the parking, the uh, Al-Azhar parking, or to go to Pyramid area, or to go to Citadel. Uh, uh, this will continue uh, uh, usually also to see uh, many of the internal uh, tourism or the Egyptian in this uh, cultural uh, places. But the majority are planning to be uh, a few days uh, in the beach uh, uh, in this area. Also in the north of Egypt, you will see many uh, people are going to Gamasa and Ras al Bar in these uh, days or in uh, the future. Right. It's very noticeable that that flaw and that uh, flourish and boom in tourism, I mean, according to uh, enlightening the plans and the programs, thinking of promoting for new maps for tourism that in, uh, have encouraged the domestic tourism. Uh, uh, domestic tourism in Egypt now in 2024 is going uh, equ on equal foot with other types of tourism. Not only attracting people from outside Egypt, but also Egyptians themselves uh, are part of uh, the uh, national income, I mean, bringing in national income uh, for that particular sector uh, in the government. Talk to us about the flourish of national tourism. This is so important to the national uh, tourism because it, uh, you remember uh, in this time uh, in, uh, uh, in the pandemic or COVID uh, when all the airports were uh, closed, uh, <laughs> the hotels uh, uh, started to do uh, a plan uh, for the uh, 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 domestic tourism and uh, uh, it, is, it was full of uh, the Egyptian 
uh, in the beginning till the international uh, tourism returned again. Uh, so this, is, this sector is so important because for any uh, reason when the uh, international uh, tourism uh, uh, stop or will be less uh, uh, than uh, before, uh, uh, the domestic tourism uh, will cover all uh, uh, this area, all these hotels, because we have, have many uh, thousands of workers in this uh, sector of tourism. Uh, so this is so important. The uh, uh, government and the Ministry of Tourism uh, knows that, and the, uh, we have a plan also uh, to increase the number of uh, the domestic uh, tourism, uh, especially in these uh, places of the uh, uh, beach uh, hotel in uh, Red Sea and the North uh, Sea also. Uh, 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 the Nile uh, cruises, especially uh, in holidays at uh, winter, uh, you will see that uh, uh, the majority are Egyptian in this area uh, of Nile cruises between Luxor and Aswan. Uh, in summer, is uh, different because the people are looking for uh, the weather also and choosing uh, uh, and they prefer uh, the uh, uh, beach uh, uh, tourism in this area uh, of the north uh, coast of Egypt. So the government and the uh, Ministry of Tourism are uh, doing many uh, of these uh, uh, projects and uh, plan for the internal or domestic uh, tourism uh, here uh, in Egypt. Right, on that note, uh, Dr. Ahmed Nouridine, you are the head of the Tourist uh, Guide Syndicate in Giza. We'd like to thank you very much and you have a happy Eid. And by this, we come to the end of this edition of The Breakfast Show. Many thanks to all of you until we see you again tomorrow morning. That's a goodbye.